you kiss. I can't believe that I fell probably because it was pissed in the last time I played, trying to set up his game. Now when no one was in love, you must have wanted the fame. It's a shame I adored you, thought you were the man. Bring you in. I won't let it happen again. While Brad and Tony are holidaying in Queensland and Peachy's out bush, I'm here yet again at another rugby league game. Actually, I'm at the St Mary's Stadium. This is the grand final day for the Howard Matthews Cup and SG Ball. <laughs> our grand final of our competition of our Howard Matthews and SG Ball, culmination of a nine week competition that sees uh, the two grand finalists playing together here today. All the clubs, all the NRL clubs have a team in the Harold Matthews SG Ball competition, Canberra, Newcastle, travelling team. Um, but uh, it's great this year, we've got uh, Western Australia for the first time playing in the SG Ball, the under 18 competition for the first time, um, which gives us a really great statewide combat, national wide competition. So it's in enhancing the competition and gives the kids a great pathway through to the NRL clubs. Harold Matthews grand final sees two Western sides, Penrith and Parramatta play. And in the SG Ball competition, our under 18 competition sees the Roosters playing Parramatta in the grand final. By the Penrith Panthers, I've got the coach with me here, Brad Atkinson. How do you feel, Brad? Oh, look, you know, we worked so hard for six months to get to this day and then to come away with the trophy at the end. Look, you, the effort the guys put in was just uh, enormous. And this bloke here, player of the year for no special reason other than the fact that he's got the biggest heart. So, yes. Yes. yeah, it was a great effort by all the boys today. So I, I got here about five minutes into the first half. You seem to have won it right from the start, though. You were stronger, you were faster, you were better. Yeah, look, we came in with a fairly simple game plan of, uh, you know, working around the markers and in behind there, play the ball and uh, seem to pay dividends for us and uh, got our faster guys in around their big guys because they were a bit bigger than us across the paddock and uh, look, at the end of the day, it got us to the, the win and uh, here we are as champions. So. And we're in St Mary's, which Penrith just up the road. Big support here, huh? Lots of people. It's, uh, it's almost uh, the second home ground for us, so we're really happy that the, uh, the grand finals played here at the... St Mary's Centre and uh, look, you know, can't ask for much more. Congratulations and thanks for letting me come on a, what is it called? The lap of honour, lap of honour with you. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Don't care for you, you don't care for me. I don't care for you, you don't care for me. Second half of the SG ball game between the Roosters and Parramatta. Roosters are at 20 and Parramatta are at 12. But next to me here, I've got an old friend, John Amato from LARPA. And John, you're not here for LARPA today, you just want to shake my hand. Yes. What are you doing out here? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm out here sort of representing the Indigenous people as well. I'm uh, currently in position of uh, New South Wales selector for the under 16s and under 18s competitions in Matthews and SG ball. Uh, so that's what I'm here today doing. You're the only black fella I hear that's a selector. I am the only Aboriginal that's a selector and I, I try to encourage more Aboriginal people to, to do what I've done or uh, try and come through the process of being in the uh, in the um, subject of being a selector or whatever. John, tell me, how did they pick you? What have you done? Yeah, well, I've, I've, it's been a long process. I, I was with the uh, junior representative so I was in South Sydney for about... 13 years, I think it was, or 14 years, something like that. Um, I, I'd done coaching there, selecting there with the Matthews Cup, the history of ball, and the um, under 20s. Under 16s and under 18s New South Wales team. Everybody on Barefoot's going to see your face now. You might get phone calls. Is there a lot of pressure, you know, from from our community in particular? Oh, look, that's that's always going to happen. Um, pressure off your own people, but they know where I, they, they know where I come from. Um, and, and saying that, they know what I've done in my position. There's a lot of pressure when I was coaching. To have a lot of crew kids in the sides. Um, you know, my job not only being a selector is to encourage young Aboriginal people 
to uh, to get involved in the sport and to give them as much encouragement encouragement as I can and as much help as I can to help them in you know setting goals for them where they want to be. I'm impressed with New South Wales Rugby League. They've always been great supporters of Barefoot and every time I come to an event, a, a, a knockout or a grand final or something, there seems to be more and more blackfellas working for the New South Wales Rugby League. Now when you're looking for selecting a player, you're looking at the player, you're watching their talent, are you also watching what type of kid they are? Whether you know whether they've got characteristics that we're taking through not just rugby league but life as because uh, you're representing your state. It is, and we do do that. Um, and I, I like to think that I've got an insight into Aboriginal kids a lot better than the other fellows that they might not understand. And I, I see that as an important issue for, for the Koori kids and for our people as well, because um, you know it's hard to say that well, we're all the same. Well, we are all the same. We've got two arms, two legs, like everybody else, but our cultures are a lot different. So you know I've got a bit of an understanding about kids. How we, how we think we can help if they've got problems. Uh, like I said before, it's a work in progress and um, hopefully I can give that sort of hand to the kids to help them get what I want to do. No, I know. Thanks for your time, John. No worries. Thanks very much, Paula. Yeah.